Hello everybody, Galarian Sangvi here. Welcome to the next episode. Let's go into through the boss door and see whatever that shadow was. Ominous pit is ominous. I say let's jump down. The Phantom Shadow Beast, Bongo Bongo! This is the shadow that we saw all escape from the well. So we'll constantly play the bongos, making you jump up and down. You want to, uh oh! Not get hit like I did, you want to attack its hands. Presumably with the bow, it's easier to hit the hands with the bow as I get my ass knocked onto the floor. Once you Whoop! I forgot, it ne the middle of itself never shows itself. I thought after you took both hands out, it revealed itself, so I missed my timing. Let go of me! Let go! Now that it shows itself, you can either ready your sword or ready your bow. Take your... Does the arrow not work? Are you for real? Okay. Let's try this again, Bongo Bongo. Attack! And while it's done, and lay it on him. He will should always drop arrows for you to use in this fight, since they are essentially essential. It is possible to hit the hands with the... It is... What?! I'm sorry, I'm baffled that the arrow hit the hand and didn't stun it. But anyway, let's wait for his charge and attack! Stab him to death! And maybe we discuss that the shadow of this temple is a... That the shadow to escape a well is a bongo player, I might add. Like, it doesn't look all that intimidating to me, if you ask per me perfectly honest. Like, this is what beat each Sheik and us up. I guess we couldn't see it. So it had that advantage. Wow, that beeping is going to get really annoying in this fight. Okay, it did it again. My arrow hit the fist, and yet it... Can I not stun his hand when he's doing that? Like, actually hit the hand. Here we go! How did that not hit him? Okay, Arrow, why did you went soaring off into the abyss? Okay, that time was on me. I was a bit late in drawing my sword. Oh, I forgot to have uh, Navi tell us about the boss. Matter of fact, I think I forgot that... I don't think she could tell us about Twin Rover because we couldn't lock on to her. Oh, we could, since I never thought about doing it. The boss of the Shadow Temple, revived from the well. Look at it with the eye of truth. Come at me, Bongo Bongo. There we go. Oh, that was one strike away, too. Damn it. How was I one strike away?
Yes, dissolve into nothingness. Don't forget to pick up your heart container. There's two more hearts left. And I know where one of the piece of hearts are, and I believe the rest are in Gen's castle, if I'm not, not mistaken. At least I hope so. But anyway, let's go see Impa the Sage. The boy with the noble Zelda's ocarina, as I expected, you have come. I am Impa, one of, one of the Sheikah. I am Princess Zelda's caretaker, and I am also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. We Sheikahs have served the royal family of Hyrule for generation to generation as attendants. However, on that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked. The Hy and Hyrule Castle surrendered after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the keys to the sacred realm, the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Ocarina of Time. My duty bonded me to take Zelda, the Zelda, Zelda, out of Ganondorf's reach. Zelda. Almost sounds like shelter. Like she's a Pokemon. When I last saw you, as we made our escape from the castle, you were just a lad. Now I see that you have become a fine hero. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. Soon you will meet Princess Zelda face to face, and she will explain everything. That is, when we, the Six Wise Ones, will seal up the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now I put my power, which should be helpful to you, into this medallion. The Shadow Medallion, Impa awakens as a sage and adds her powers to yours. Please look out for the princess. Link, the hero. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. Time for the final showdown with the King of Evil has come. Before that though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. <laughs> 